Good morning dear fellows hope you all are fine today we are going to read textbook pages 84 and 85 kindly open these pages and write date and day on these two pages our learning objectives for today are how heat is transferred through convection and radiation and other forms of energy that can change and give off heat first of all let's discuss the keywords for today There are two keywords for today convection and radiation the definition of these keywords is given in glossary on textbook page 118 convection convection is the transfer of thermal energy through the movement of matter radiation energy that is transmitted in waves and can become thermal energy for example we receive the radiation from the sun convection convection is actually the transfer of thermal energy as the matter moves matter is made up of tiny particles and these particles are in constant movement when these particles move the matter can create thermal energy and when this energy flows from one place to another this is called convection Have you ever felt how warm kitchen gets when your oven is on? You may feel the heat indirectly as the heat moves through the room from the convection. Actually what happens that the air becomes lighter when it is heated up and it goes up. And this this hot air go to an area which is colder than the area which where it is present. to replace this air the cooler air take its place and it's again warmed up and it again leaves that place in convection a gas or a liquid moves from one place to another the oven heat air inside it and particles in the warm air move faster and travel upward into rest of the kitchen then cooler airs enter to the oven to warm it up radiation radiation is the energy that is sent out in the form of waves when the sun rays warm up your skin when you sit in near a fire you feel radiant energy or the radiation when radiations or radiant energy hits you the particles in your skin moves more quickly you know very well the matter is made up of tiny particle and you, your skin is also matter so it is also made up of tiny particle when the radiant energy or the radiation hits your skin these particles start moving the radiation is converted into thermal energy and you feel warm when the particles start moving they create some heat or they create some thermal energy and the radiation can travel through matter and through empty spaces also this is also question number 3 you have to read and you have to complete the statements with the words given in the box there are three words given in the box and there are three statements here convection radiation and conduction you have to write the correct word in front of the correct statement greenhouse effect the picture shown in your textbook is a, a picture of the greenhouse effect the farmers use this effect to grow the plants on the required temperature actually the glass walls of this greenhouse or the ceilings let the radiation come in but they prevent them to escape these radiations keep the air warm inside it and the air warms the air directly above it also changes of other energy to the heat energy there is a law which is called the law of conservation of energy it says energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can change its form on the basis of this law the energy can transform from one form to another form and we cannot make energy we cannot destroy energy but yes we can change it from one form to another form similarly the heat energy can be produced by many different forms of energy for example 
the fossil fuels the light energy and the friction also fossil fuels to heat what are the fossil fuels the coal the natural gas the oil the, uh, that you use to run your cars and your automobiles are the fossil fuels these are the natural fuels which are formed when something is buried inside the earth after millions of years it transform into fossil fuels when we burn these fossil fuels they are transformed into heat people often use this heat in their homes schools and other buildings you can use the heat energy to lighten up your homes and you can use this energy to cook the food in the kitchen also and in the uh, in the offices and schools and other buildings also light energy to heat energy the light energy can also be transformed into heat energy you may have noticed when the sunlight hits an object the object becomes warm it it is heated up why because the light energy is being transformed into heat energy have you ever noticed when you are wearing a black t-shirts on a hot sunny day it becomes warm it is because the black color absorbs all the wavelengths of light and it do not transmit any of the colors that objects that are black absorb all the colors of visible light when the light is absorbed it becomes a form of heat so the black t-shirt warms up laser light you may have seen the laser light it is a beam of light that moves in a straight line it is a very thin narrow line of light laser light produce a great deal of heat a laser is a powerful beam of light and it can be used to cut to drill or bend the material doctors can also use a laser to treat your skin or the other organs now the laser technology is developed so much that it is being used in the stitches also the main source of light energy is the sun and the energy of this light can be transformed into heat by using the solar panel a solar panel absorbs the energy from the sun and this energy can transform into other forms of energy for example light energy heat energy or any other form of energy in a solar heat system the sun's energy heats the liquid that flows through the solar panel you can see these are the solar panels which are installed on the rooftop of a house and in a desert there is a liquid inside them and when the liquid is heated up it is pumped through the pipes and it can be used to heat up the home or the wash clothes and there are many other uses of it also question number 4 you have to read this passage and you have to underline the three types of fossil fuel friction to heat it is very interesting to know that the energy of the friction can also be transformed into heat energy what is friction when two things are rubbed together they they cause friction when an object moves on the other object it shows some resistance to this movement this resistance appear in the form of heat okay rub your hands together for a while Do you feel the heat? This heat is due to the friction. Friction occurs when two surfaces rub together and as a result the heat is produced. For example, when a person skates on ice, the ice and the skates rub together and we know when two things are rubbed together, they create heat. Actually, the particles in the matter start moving very very quickly and when they move quickly they create thermal energy which is transfer in the form of heat the skates of the ice skater cause friction this friction gives off heat question number 5 you have to read the given passage in your book and you have to look at the picture what evidence would show that the friction of the ice skates sliding on ice cause heat You may have noticed 
द आइस अंडर द फीट ऑफ द स्केटर मे स्टार्ट मेल्टिंग अ लिटल बिट वाई बिकॉज वेन टेम्परेचर बिकम्स हाई वेन समथिंग इज हीटेड अप इट ट्रांसफॉर्म फ्रॉम द सॉलिड टू द लिक्विड आइस इज अ सॉलिड एंड वेन इट इज हीटेड अप इट मेल्ट एंड बिकम्स वाटर दिस इज अ इंडिकेशन दैट द हीट इज प्रोड्यूस ड्यूरिंग द स्केटिंग हेयर कम्स योर होमवर्क there are two questions given here and you have to answer these questions in your notebook or on the loose sheet question number 1 what could be some important uses of the solar panels you have to write some uses of the solar panels in your notebook and in question number 2 you have to write the definition of convection and the radiation you can find the definition on page number 118 of your textbook That was all for today thank you so much